Hello everybody, it's been a while, it's been a while, it's been a while, okay. So on my Telegram group, on the Telegram channel rather than the public one, I promised I'll talk to you guys about algorithmic ping pong action, right? Okay, so I'm going to make it into, you know, a small three part or four part series because it does take some thinking, okay? I know there are people out there who do these like rhyme and other people, yeah, but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, right? Again, please note because there's a lot of people that text me and ask me, bro, I used to know rhyme, I used to know this, I used to know that. Nah. The only student that I am of is ICT, no one else. The rest is like my hard work, my own research, right? So yeah, without further ado, let's talk about it. Okay, so when we talk about algorithmic ping pong, right? You need to establish direction. So today's thing is about establishing direction intraday. Okay, and then of course, you can use a fractal nature of price to apply this to the higher time frames, right? All right. So <clears throat> when you're establishing direction, okay? When you're establishing direction, you wanna see displacement. So you see, you see this break in market structure, okay? This break in market structure over here, it needs to be a displacement candle. Now, what do I mean by a displacement candle? It means a nice move up in price, and that basically closes above this high. Okay, a nice move up in price that closes above this high. So you wanna see these displacements in price to establish your direction. Okay, now how do you know it's certainty whether the price is gonna go up or not? Well, obviously price needs to be coming from a POI, a bullish POI. That's that's like the basics, right? It can be a fair value gap, it can be an order block, it can be an extreme of price, any one of those. And you're still gonna be able to get ping pong price action. Okay, I mean, I wouldn't say ping pong price action. I'll, I'll say you, you'll still be able to get tradable bounces in price, which you can then use, you know, buy and sell. Okay, now this is how you establish direction intraday. Okay, this is how you establish direction intraday. Now, what about the bearish side? Now, when you talk about the bearish side, you obviously have your POI or whatever here. And you have, say, price goes into it. Here's a low and then who we displace lower. Let me come back. Now, this displacement as well, it requires to be a, or it is required to be a displacement candle. Okay. That is how you establish direction. Then all you have to do next is wait for price to come inside, enter, and enjoy the sell-off. Wait for price to, oops. I pressed the wrong button. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. You want to wait for price to come back into it here, and then go higher. Right, that's like the basics, right? Every single course out there from uh, what people have shown me is this is the same damn thing. But they lack the understanding of why price does something. Nothing is pattern-based, trust me. Nothing is pattern-based. Everything is logic-based. If this, then that. If not, then this, okay? So this is the basic, basic, basics to algorithmic trading. You have to establish direction. And this is what today's, today's video is going to be about. Okay, and I'm sure even if you are not interested in this type of trading, this particular signature and price action is going to be helpful uh, for your normal trading. Okay, all right, so let's look at some examples before we can conclude the video. Uh, let's look at yesterday's examples on NASDAQ. All right, okay, so if I take you replay mode again, remember I said fractal, right? It's a fractal nature in price. So yesterday, me and my group we caught cells from over here. All right. So the reason why I was looking for sales over here, obviously, stuff I can't talk about in public, but it was induced money, it was a change of state and all of that. Okay. So, all right. So what was I seeing over here? Where do the three minute chart? I was looking for a low. Okay. They have a low here, right? I'm sure it was a one minute chart as well, but let's play it forward. Okay. So I want to see price displace through this low. It's coming from a fair value gap. I want to see displace showing me that, okay, this, the direction is indeed the downside. Okay, nothing yet. Okay, does it close nicely? Yes, it does. All right. Now they close nicely. Okay, I want to see price come back up here, here, and sell off. All right. So basically, I want to see price come over here and sell off. So I'm patient. I'm patient. I know it's going to come up there. This signature over here is what I'm going to talk to you guys about in the next video. So bear with me for now. So this, this sell. And this was the sell that we got yesterday. Okay. 
Now, what about the buy? So you see, I am able to get this sell from over here. I know price is going to you know, stop from down over there and needs to go higher. All right. So I'll show you where we got the buy from. Now, the buy was based on the one minute, but price came from a one hour point of interest here. All right. Okay. Go to the one minute chart. Okay. And what can we see? We can see, you see uh, this over here? The swing high, right? So, get the swing high here. All right. Did we get that move? No. We did not get the move that we wanted to see. Okay. So, what am I looking for next? I'm looking for price to displace or close above the swing high. So, let's see. Okay. This is more than enough. This signature itself is more than enough. All right. After that, what I want to see is I want to see price come down below this low. All right. Yeah, below this low and go higher. That's the buy that we had yesterday. Perfect, isn't it? Isn't it? It's really perfect. So this is the buy that we got. Now see, can you, see, you, you, you get the displacement higher, you get the buy, right? What, what's next? Straight forward. This got nice price moves high, right? It's got beautiful price moves high. So now you can argue, all right. So what about this? Here we, we closed above and we did all that good stuff. What about this? Right. Price needs to come down here. It did not come down here. What does that mean? If price levels are held or if price levels are not being traded to, right? It means that it's not a good idea. Okay. It means that it's not a good idea to take that trade based on this framework, right? Well, what about this? Now over here, can you see anything? We can see, okay, there's a break over here, but uh, I did not close, right? So it doesn't meet the rule. What about this? All right, we've got a nice displacement over here. Okay, we've got a beautiful displacement over here. Price comes down into the range. That's a buy. Okay, displacement comes into the range. That's that's a buy. After that, yesterday we got a we got a sell as well. So that sell, all right, that sell was based on this. Okay, now you see when price is dropping down here, yeah. can we see displacement close? Yeah. Okay, that's my displacement close. I am initially looking for price to sell off from here, from there. And this was a sell that we took from here. We, I wanted to take a sell uh, to come all the way down here. It did not quite reach there, which means that this level is also being held for later use. All right, so let's see. Okay, that's a sell. I took major partials over here and then the rest hit break even. Okay, now, given that I knew what happened, right, how could I have gotten this buy from over here, all right? How could I have gotten this buy? See the brick? Okay, this one just touched it. This one displaced and closed, all right? That's why I want to see. Then, I want to see price reach down here and then go higher. See if it can come down here or in this candle itself. All right, and then it goes higher. Okay, so this is a buy that I missed actually. I did I did miss this buy. All right, so then after this buy, I got in another sell. Okay, after this buy, I got in another sell. So let's play this a bit. And where did I get the sell from? I got the sell from here. All right, from right over here. So I missed the buy. I can't do anything about it. That's my sell. And I wrote price a bit lower. Took partials here and the rest got hit that break even. So that's your about to see. And again, before I before I go on, if I was aware, okay, because price is still trading within a range, within Friday's range, or I think Thursday's range, uh, what was going through my mind? I was thinking, like, okay, you know what? It's like inside days, right? Price is trading within this bigger range. So you gotta expect some choppiness. So if I did expect, I did not expect it yesterday, of course. Uh, but if I did expect that choppiness and when I saw this displacement, I would have bought. Okay. I would have bought, but I stopped trading from here. 
So I would have bought. So here's the break, right? Here's the break right there. I am interested in doing what? I'm interested in seeing price come below this or into that range and going higher from there. Okay. All right. Then there's always a then. <laughs> what about this one? So we got a high. Here's a low. Displacement. Yeah. There's a sell from here. Why? Displacement break goes up and sell off. And that's pretty much the end of yesterday. Yes. All right. Now, what about today? Today, all right. So I'm going to sell over here. Okay, I'm going to sell over here. I'm pretty sure I sent it to you guys on the Telegram chat anyway. So why did I choose to sell over here? I chose. I, I sold you both US hundred and US thirty. Okay. All right. Look at this high. Uh, look at this low, rather. This low. Nice displacement break, right? Yeah. Then I'm looking at what other structural points have been broken inside this larger range. Okay, what other structural points have you broken inside this larger range? So obviously this is the first one. That's the first displacement down here. Okay. What about this? Yeah, there's another displacement down here. And there's another displacement down here. Right. So, so many things happen inside this larger structure that everything over here is just inducement. Okay. Everything over here is just inducement. The question is which one? Right, question is which one? Of course, I'm not going to go through it. It's just this one. Okay. And myself, I was a bit late for the sale, of course. I sold it uh, over here. Right. Uh, my take profit is Asian low. So Asian low is where? Over here. No. Over, yeah, over here, over here. Okay, that's where my take profit is. So let's see if it goes there. Uh, so that's US 100. Then what about US 30? So on US 30, I did the same thing. I got in the cell. Now, how am I going to do it over here? All right, let's see. You have this break. Now, see, you see the big difference, right? The only, the only one or the only uh, low that was broken inside this larger range is this one. Okay, it's only that. So this here, I'm expecting price to come into this candle. Okay. And these are obvious inducements here. I got in the cell here. Why? Price is dropping. It displaces and closes below. Displaces again. But this is a trap, right? You're supposed to get some mitigation up here. Not here. This is a trap. So I'll leave that to your study. All right. So with that, guys, uh, today is quite simple for algorithmic trading, for ping pong, as you guys want it. You can apply this to every single time frame. Remember, displacement is king because displacement truly establishes market direction. Direction, direction, yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, there are other stuff as well, which I can't go through. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. But I'm under NDA, right? So, yeah. Put in the work. Backtest the shit out of this. Uh, combine it with everything that you've seen on my channel. And I hope you really like this video. I'm sure uh, definitely there's going to be more coming. And I know that, you know, my videos are a bit late, but life is getting in the way. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't, help this channel grow. And uh, if you are in need of a community, you know where to find me. If you are not in need of a community, you know where you can join the free public Telegram channel. All right, guys. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.